this uh, short session about how to create annotated screenshots and how to be editing those as well. My name is Lars Heinrich and I'm the training manager of Clickern. I'm here to tell you all about this. So the first thing I want to do before I go into the annotated screenshot is that I want to create a new recording. And of course, uh, let's just call this a test recording here. And start it up. If you haven't seen Click on a Team before, you will get this toolbar out here. We did not have that in Classic, so it would just have started the recording automatically. Right now, I'm going to set it to automatic because I want to capture more than just one step. So I'm going to start up the recording. So my basics here is just to get my steps recorded. And I'm just going to go into a specific account in here. Once I see the screen. go and in here I could of course click around and record steps as usual but the new functionality that we have here in click on attain is to create and annotate screenshots so I just did a couple of clicks in here just to show you how that also works so I'm going to stop my recording the usual way by pressing down the two control keys that's going to take me back into the toolbar over here and now I want to create what we call an annotated screenshot. When I click here, I'm going to see the countdown of three, two, one, and then it's going to take the uh, uh, the picture here of the full screen. It will take a couple of seconds to uh, refresh here, and that's simply because it has not just captured one uh field in here it has actually captured the full form everything that i have in this form has been collected so i have right now uh 79 different areas recorded in this one screen so let's have a look at the screenshot from the editor as well so i'm going to go directly into the editor And if I want to be editing the annotated screenshot, I simply just double click the annotated screenshot. I'm going to get the features up here. I could give this a new title, of course, for the annotation. And here I can also go into the annotation editor. In the annotation editor, I will notice that when I move my cursor around, I'm going to have all the collected uh, forms uh, or fields in this form. Um, in here appearing so you can see I have everything appearing in here so what I could do here is that I would maybe describe some of the areas that I have in here so let's say I want to describe this one uh, because there might be some details about this there is already a description in there uh, so if I want to enhance that description I can click on the menu up here and click on edit this will uh, bring me into editing this description. So now I can go here, I could uh, delete that, what I have in there, and then start adding my new text in there. Add this annotation, and now you can see that's been added. I could maybe add also something about when I need to save. I would add that annotation, and so on. In this way, I can put my own descriptions into these different uh, areas that I want to have described in here. Please remember not to, you know, take all the 79 um, fields or, or buttons or whatever you have in here that has been collected and describe them all. That's going to be very confusing for the end user. When I go back into my editor, I will also notice that I have the fields described down here and you can see what it's going to be telling the end user when they hover over this specific screen. Um, if you want to look at some examples of annotated screenshots, if you go down into the help menu down here, then there's going to be a click on assist. And if I look into any of those, which is uh, telling me not how to, but 
when it says written edits a screen, that's describing a screen. So if I click on Start Assistant, it is working a little bit slow, I must say, uh, but that's of course something that we're fixing. But I would just want to mention this for you so you can actually see what is this going to be showing uh, your end users as well. So um, once you ask for assistance, it's going to show you all the different areas in here. And if I hover over any of these areas, then it's going to show me what is actually in that area. This disappeared a little bit quick for me as well, but that's how it's supposed to be working. It's going to be highlighting all the different areas of the screen for your end users, and then they can hover over and see what's the functionality behind this button or this field, or what do they need to remember in, in certain areas and so on. So that's all about the annotated, uh, the annotated screenshot editor and how to take the annotated screenshots. I hope you got what you needed here. So uh, thank you all for viewing this and have a great day.